Hello fellow coffee botherers, in this video I'm going to go through cleaning and maintenance on the Sage or Breville dual boiler. I know, not the most exciting of subjects, but necessary nevertheless, and hopefully you'll save yourself some time and unnecessary stress by watching this video and fully understanding the various cleaning and maintenance tasks of fresh and clean coffee you will receive for your morning baths. So the main cleaning cycles on the dual boiler are back flushing and descaling. We're going to talk through these and also daily maintenance and three and five year maintenance, which may sound strange, but it won't do once I've explained. So let's get started. Number one, back flushing. Back flushing simply means to block the basket so water can't get through and instead the water flushes back through the group, through the brood path, through the solenoid valve into the drip tray. Why do we back flush? The reason to back flush is to keep the internals clean, to stop them getting gunked up with coffee oils. If we don't keep the path clean, it can get clogged up over time, and this can hinder the taste of our espresso. It can also cause a solenoid valve to stop working, and theoretically it could cause damage to other components as a result. Back flushing can be done with or without detergent, and how often it should be done with or without detergent really depends on who you ask. But in my opinion, water only back flushing can be done as often as you like. Once a day after your last shot, for example, is fine. Some people even do this after every shot. When it comes to back flushing with detergent, I'd recommend doing that when prompted, which is every 200 shots. Some may say that's a bit on the long side, but the machine thinks you've pulled a shot every time you flush the group. So if you flush before each shot, it's really every 100 shots that you've been prompted to back flush. The machine will prompt you by displaying the message clean me, which is weird as that message often appears on the back of my car along with the occasional rude illustration. Sadly, there are no rude illustrations on the dual boiler, just the clean me text and it should vanish as if by magic when you've done a back flush cycle. We block the basket with a back flush disc, also known as a blank disc or sometimes a blind disc. And with the dual boiler, with it being a 58mm machine, you can either use the silicon one that comes with the machine or just buy a standard metal one for three or four quid. To do this, put your blind disc in and lob in a cleaning disc. Insert the porter filter, make sure it's properly locked in and make sure your water tank is full of water, obviously, and that your drip tray is empty. And then press the menu button five times to get to the cleaning cycle and the manual button will illuminate. Press it and go do something else for 370 seconds. If you want to watch the back flushing cycle instead, you'll see the counter counting down from 370 seconds and there'll be a series of back flushes and pauses. Then just rinse the blind disc Give the group a good flush by pulling a few blank shots and then put your basket back in and you're all sorted. You can access the back flush cycle in the same way if you want to do your water only back flush this way or if you want to do it quicker just do it manually by pressing the shot button and letting the pressure ramp up to full pressure and stay there for a couple of seconds before stopping the shot and do this four or five times. So that's back flushing. Next let's talk about the scaling. As you'll know if you watch this video, I don't actually recommend descaling a dual boiler at all. Instead, I'd recommend using an under counter or countertop water filter or reverse osmosis system or using low calcium and low magnesium bottled water and not descaling. Reason being, because they have commercial grade water circuits, descaling these machines requires draining them and this can lead to various potential issues. They're not usually serious issues and airlock seems to be the most common issue. They're just a bit of a pain, especially for people who are not comfortable with taking machines apart and messing with them as it means getting them to an engineer. If you're not going to use your machine with bottled water or with a filter or an RO system, then you definitely do need to descale it unless you're very lucky to live in a very soft water area. And by the way, if you think you do, I'd recommend just getting some water hardness testing strips and double checking. So if you are going to descale your machine, this is what you need to do. Warning. By the way, just consult your manual before you do this as different models do have slightly different descaling instructions. Start by turning your machine off and allow it to cool down properly for at least four hours. With the machine still off, press and hold the single shot button and then press the power button. You should see R set on the screen. I just said R's. Press the up arrow once and you should then see the word desk on your screen. Empty your drip tray, cover it with a cloth and then remove the grey drain valve cover. Grab a flat head screwdriver and slowly turn the screw anti-clockwise lefty loosey until the water starts flowing. And 
and once it's fully drained, close the valve back up, but don't over tighten it. So that's the steam boiler drained. Next, do the same with the valve on the left to drain the brew boiler. Next, empty and replace the drip tray. Then dissolve your descaler with a litre of warm water. Empty your water tank, remove the water filter, and then pour the descale solution into the water tank. Press a single shot button and the 20 minute timer will begin. When it gets to zero, empty the drip tray, put your cloth back on it and repeat the process of draining the right hand drain, the steam boiler, and then the left hand drain, the brew boiler, and then close both valves again. Empty the drip tray, empty the water tank, give it a good rinse and then fill it to the max with cold, fresh water. Now we're rinsing the boilers. To do this, press a single shot button and you'll see another 20 minute timer. Empty the drip tray again, cover it with your cloth and drain the boilers again, in the same order. Then repeat the flushing process once more, exactly the same process, just to make sure it's properly rinsed. And that's it, you're all done. Rinse the drip tray, fill the water tank up, press the power button to turn the machine off and hopefully you're ready to go. If you do have any issues at this point, watch my video on the three beeps error and how to fix it. So that's back flushing and descaling. In terms of daily maintenance, I'd recommend doing a few quick manual water only back flushes when you've had your last coffee for the day. And then do this. Let the water flow through the group while you lock and unlock the water filter. Then give the shower screen a wipe Give the porta filter a wipe. If there's espresso on the splitter or the bottom of the porta filter, just rinse it with hot water to remove and then dry it. Give the machine a quick wipe down and always make sure it's all dry. Empty your water tank, put fresh water in it tomorrow or the next time you come to use it. Make sure the steam wand is kept clean. Always purge before and after steaming and get into the habit of wiping the wand too. If you see this footage, this shows milk that have been sucked into the pipe been released into clear water. So if you imagine this happening the next day with milk that's been going stale overnight, not great. You're gonna ruin your first coffee. And that's that. For longer term maintenance, I'd recommend finding an espresso engineer to give your machine a service at around three years, or before that if you notice any issues. And ideally, get your machine serviced yearly. If you do that with one of these, unless you're very unfortunate, I'd expect to keep on going for 10 years or longer, possibly much, much longer. The guy who does my repairs and maintenance, Radu, who reconditioned both of my machines for me because I'm tight and I bought old, battered, very well used dual boilers, can be found at espressorepairshop.co.uk and I'll put his details in the description below. He's in the UK, in the northwest, South Manchester, so if anyone is watching this who repairs and maintains Sage or Breville machines in other parts of the UK or other parts of the world, put the details in the comments and I'll add them into the description and I'll do a community post about you. Fact! And that has nothing to do with clicking the like button, but click the like button if you scan the QR code and read that fact. Thank you very much for watching. And if you love coffee and enjoyed this video, we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista. We've got reviews and how to's on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that, click on my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.